We're back Ugh. on the attack. Got yeah, lots to talk about. I oh, was... there was there was something we were gonna talk about that you were that you were like hinting. Oh, at. Oh, well, this is something. Is this what I sent you a message about? Yeah. Okay. So here's an interesting thing I just want to think of because I know David. David's a very smart, well-spoken guy. He knows these things a little bit better than I do. But I was interested about something with diversity in video games. Okay. Oh, a little bit of context. I guess we got to start off with. So uh, they just announced the sequel to Honey Pop. Mm -hmm. Honey Pop Two. I think there was a game in the middle, but I I didn't play it because it was something different. Um. Now, Honey Pop is a series of um it's part visual novel part <laughs> erotica part bejeweled i think is the best it's way all of the above best way to sum it up um and i was just looking at the new trailer they announced some of the new characters and one of them was uh uh the traditional i don't know what traditional. one of them was a uh, muslim character with the hijab and you know i didn't know what country she was from i can't remember what it said but I remember looking at it and looking at the comments and looking at some of the internet response and everybody was like, we love it, we love this character, this is great. Okay, well usually when you see that in the video game world, it's like, it's not why are they shoving black girls into our Uncharted's? Yeah. So I have to ask, is Honey Pop true diversity in video gaming? Because, wait, 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 look at this roster, okay. It's, we got, oh, it's this guy, I remember now. We got, uh... There's like, it, it hits all the tropes, okay? We got the like, the young white cheerleader girl, the uh, soon to college girl, uh, middle-aged uh, Mexican woman, African-American woman, 50-year-old, uh, older, older woman, there's an alien, there's a cat girl, there's an Indian woman. It's all the check boxes, mm -hmm. and nobody's upset. So mm -hmm. is this diversity? I... I would not know without knowing more about the game itself. So here's how the game works, okay? <laughs> yes, I've played the first game through and through. I actually really enjoyed it. Um, you start out. And, okay, so here's another. You want to talk about even more inclusivity. Oh, I forgot about the frog. Uh, even more inclusivity. You can play as a man or a woman. So we're talking open diversities to sexualities as well, okay? okay. We're, we're all over the spectrum here. And, um, how it works is you go on dates with girls, and this isn't like your traditional, you know, visual novel type thing, like Nekopara, which, you know, I totally haven't played, uh, <laughs> where that's just like watching a movie, you don't actually do anything, yeah. it's just like text and happen. Yeah. Okay, with this, you have to do dialogue choices, and you buy presents for the girls and stuff like that, and you go on dates with them, right? Okay. When you get to the date, you have to play a bejeweled type game. It's a little bit deeper than it may seem. Different girls have different things, okay? There's ones that like uh, musical talent. You missed the G. I know, I'm going back. Oh. There's ones who like musical talent, ones who like physical appearances, ones who like, uh, I can't remember the other traits, but you match up the colors and you try and get it the best you can. Yeah. And you keep going and going until you get to a point where you can... Uh, I take the girl home. Okay. And uh, you do this with every member of the female cast. Okay. And you rinse and repeat, and that's basically the whole game. Now, it's uh, it's very tongue-in-cheek, it's very humorous, mm -hmm. it's very self-aware, but it is also very much... I should have mentioned, if you're a younger kid, you probably a ask your mom or your daddy before playing Honey Pop. It is, it is very much erotica. I guess it's a loose definition depending on who you're talking to, but it is heavily sexual and uh, heavily adult themed, let's say. Okay. Okay. But I don't think it's necessarily exploitative in this oh, sense. Shoot. I don't think it's uh I don't think it's exploitative in any way. I and I it's... and I I refrain from making a judgment on it because I have not played it or seen it. <laughs> Do you want to play through it sometime? Not on here. <laughs> no, but just just like for fun. Well, <laughs> no. <laughs> Honestly, I would not want to play it for fun ever. Okay. Well, I recorded some footage of it in case we ever need it. So <laughs> I have it. Um, I just think it's an interesting discussion where you know can. Erotica give us true diversity. 
Can erotica give us true diversity? Well, and I am... I'm hesitant to give my stamp of approval. I'm not but asking I'm also, for your stamp of approval. I'm just asking for, you know, your observations and opinions. Well, that's and that's what I'm saying. It's like, I don't know. Mm. I don't know because I haven't played it. Okay, well, based night. off of what I told you, what can you... Based off of what you told me, I'm leery. Okay, that's, that's to be expected. Um, because there's a difference between, like porn and like exploitative porn and then not exploitative porn. yeah i i don't for me i don't think it's okay for a lot of people maybe it's true pornography but i was playing it like a game i thought it was fun i thought it was funny um but that was close oh shoot oh, that's you're in charge oh do i have to do something okay oh. I, di I did it david well you had pressed it too late I, and see, I don't know because there is, and I was talking to Travis about this a while ago, um, there is an idea that has been around, shoot, for a very long time. Yeah. That, um, like, the sexualization of somebody who you think is, like, mm. uh, the sexualization of somebody who you think is, like, of, like, less than human. So, like, when people, like, out east... Like, if, uh, so, like, people from Britain and Spain and all that stuff, when they would go to Asia, they would talk about how crazy everyone is. Mm, Shoot. You suck. Oh, my gosh. Um, they'd be like, oh, you know, everybody's there are murderers and killers, but the women are all, like, beings who are sexual. But, yes, I understand. Here's my counter to that, though. Like I said, if you have, if you're, if you're checking all the boxes, all the races, the sexualities, the religions, and you're sex sexualizing them all that feels like diversity to me that feels like that's that's how you do it because if you're treating one better or worse than the other then it's not it's not really as well intentioned and, as I and think that's it could be. and that's where it's important to understand everything that's going on in the game and to have played it before before i give my judgment because the argument mm. I, I wish you could land on top of it. I feel yeah, like I wish you'd be able to. Um, because the argument could still be made, depending on what's in the game, that it's exploitative to women in general. You see, I mean, it's hard because I don't. I mean, how do you define exploitative to women when? You know, I think a big part of the whole exploitation and sexualization with things is when it's a real person. Okay, I feel like that's part of that equation. So when you take that element out. But you also can't eliminate um, an animation from the. Gosh, you suck. you're horrible. You're supposed to um, be. You good. can't. You can't eliminate a culturally made product from the culture that it's a part of. And that's true. But I'm just thinking, like, okay, and this is not a fair answer, but okay, people want. I'm sure there's an audience, a vast majority of this audience, that plays this game for its um, lewd imagery, right? Yes. Okay. What is preferable? The drawn pictures, or you know, going up and you know, something less savory. Well, I don't. I don't think that's. I don't. Think it's that's a false a equivalent. I, yeah. I, oh my gosh. I don't think it's a fair comparison because that's being like, well, do you either want blacks to not be able to vote or not be able to eat at the same counter as that's us? That's also a horrible comparison. I think. No, what <laughs> I'm what I'm saying is like, well, it's less exploitative, so it's okay, is what that line of thinking leads to. Okay, but okay. So you're saying like rather than rather than actual women, it's okay that they're drawings. Okay, I'm not saying that. I'm just trying to explore the idea of it. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to say that's my notion or opinion. Oh, I'm not saying that's what you're saying. I'm saying other people do think that. But okay, it's it's an industry, erotica, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's 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 something that some. I mean, like if the people. Okay, I'm just trying to think. If the people making it. Oh my. I don't know. I'm, I'm just trying to think like, like this is something that's going to exist, right? And is this not one of the better ways to do it? I don't think that's, I personally, I don't think that. And again, it's not. I don't know the game, so I can't yeah. say whether or not it's good. Well, or no, I'm or just thinking about. But like, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, thinking about like pornography in general now. Well, I, I don't think like the solution is. Let's make drawings about it. I don't think. No, that's the I'm solution. not saying that's the solution. I'm saying. So you're saying like 
if people are gonna like messed up things, at least. Well, I'm saying, how do I? Form. How do you create something that fits your needs? Then I'm just confused on that, or that fits your bill of like this is okay. Because it seems like I'm. I, I really don't care if you create something that fits your bill. I'd rather. No, have I'm a just trying to say like if you. If, I mean, I'm just, by what you're talking about, it seems like no pornography could exist in your definition, then, because... No, 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 I'm not... How could it not in some way be exploitative? If both people are willing and get the same pay and get the same this is benefits a, from this it... This is drawings, though, so that argument, well, how do you do it then? Well, I'm saying you can't separate the drawings of porn from actual porn. Okay, well, the drawing of the, the person, the drawing of the person agrees with it. Then the artist said so. Okay, well, what? Where does that get us? I don't. Your your definition that you just said was both people have to agree and consent, and it's they're enjoying it. Okay, you don't have that element with this. So, what's the next? What's the next to, step then? To me, yeah, I it's kind of like that Supreme Court thing. I won't know it until I've seen it. Kind yeah, of stuff. yeah, I know what you're talking about. But for me, you can't say. Shoot. You can't say like, well, there's this woman and she's being submissive and it's okay because it's a drawing. I'm not saying it's okay. I just don't understand what could make it okay. What could make what okay? If, okay. The fact that she's submissive is what's not okay. What I have a problem with. Yes. In some is that it is, is very much, it's designed with the male eye in mind which is fine because sometimes it needs to be done that way However, i don't think we live in a world where it necessarily has to be the male eye anymore i think well exactly and the problem is is that people think it has to be that way i just i feel like i'm not getting i i get what you said you, you don't have a definition but i just feel like with what you're saying that like everything that's like this is going to be inherently you know not okay and i just don't understand how you how you get the, the the David stamp of this is okay for society? I just think there is something. Well, I mean, I think because you're obviously saying it, I mean you're not saying that it can't exist. I'm not saying it can't exist. I'm saying in many places, due to the societies that we're in, mm -hmm. that many things are that exploitative. But how do you determine what's exploitative? If it's something that doesn't in incorporate real people. Well, you can still see how... But, I mean, like, that's kind of the same idea of... Is a drawing exploitative? Is a movie exploitative? It's not real people. No, but it's a little bit different. I'm talking... Okay, I mean, if we want to get into... I mean, we could talk about stuff like race and gender and sexuality. But I'm talking strictly in, like, erotica. Okay. I, I An industry or genre or whatever you want to call it that exists purely for like these kind of things so it's like mm -hmm. well i how do you make that okay and i just i'm i'm lost with your definitions and ideas how that's possible with how to make it okay yeah i think for me part of it is that because it is such a taboo topic mm -hmm. that there are a lot of <clears throat> That it is where a lot of the dark side of humanity comes out, isn't it? Because people don't want to talk about it, people don't want to see it, so then people let that side of it... They let the dark ideas behind sexuality infect that kind of stuff. So, I think it's not, it's not even so much as like a... Not like a... It has to be a women gaze or a male gaze, but I think overall, society, especially... Japanese and American societies are so prudish about sex itself that the production of sexual materials is already so taboo that it is shoot I'm tr uh, I'm trying to explain it yeah you know sense. I don't think I mean you're saying essentially that like because of the society we live in you really can't but I, I just don't feel like that's a fair answer okay so this is no I'm not <laughs> okay. saying you can't what I'm saying is that we live in such a sex negative society that it is hard to be able to make one without that. Like there is a. I oh, I need the tiger. Well, you can go down beneath oh, okay. it. Okay. Um, is that unfortunately because it is such a taboo topic, a lot of people play out their darkest fantasies in a sexualized way because they view they can't be. They view sex as something that's taboo, and so a lot of the other taboo things, like being politically correct, 
or not being racist. Is being or politically correct or being politically incorrect taboo? Not being politically correct. So being politically incorrect. Yeah. Okay. So that's where a lot of those ideas come out is within pornography because it's taboo to put it in other places. Okay, this is going to be like, you know, you said, you know, people are afraid to talk about dark place. Here's a question for you. Question for you. And yeah. I think it's, it's, I, I, there's no way to sound this without sounding terrible, but I'm thinking like, okay. There's, uh, I'm sure there's people like this. I guarantee you of it. Who have, um, God, there's no good way to put this. I'm trying to think of like, 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 like rape fantasies, right? Yep. yep. Okay. Would a rape fantasy pornography be inherently, you know, exploitative, negative, bad? I mean, what if it's something that two consenting people put together, it's completely fictionalized, and say, Hey, let's take this, let's let's make this so the rape fantasy guys don't go out raping. <laughs> I, 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 had to throw, I had to do it like that because no, there's yeah. no... There's, you said there's taboo, there's no good way to talk about this kind of thing. And I think, I think it's more indicative of a wider cultural idea behind what sex is and what's appropriate and what's not appropriate. And I... I think it's it's a tough conversation to have. And it's and unless you are in a space where you can freely have that conversation, it's not going to be able to be brought up anywhere. Mm -hmm. Like we don't want to talk about child sex offenders, right? Like so that's something that's going to See, I almost did the same thing but for that, but I was like that's even worse. Is that where I have no idea. Like that is a very taboo thing, so it comes out a lot in pornography because that's the only place where people can But is that I mean like I don't know if that's a bad thing or not. <laughs> yeah, that's I didn't I didn't expect you to be like, "Well, cuz it's just sort of like these are just I mean, I'm just it's just an observation. <laughs> We're not qualified exactly for all this. I was just sort of spitballing. Oh, there was Oh, okay. Yeah, so I it's it's complicated and it's, it's there's no if there was an answer we would have figured it out already you know there's no easy solution to it but i do think that things like honey pop and other dating simulators <laughs> do sometimes have that um that exploitation aspect to it just because the place it puts you as the main character in i guess you can be male or female but it's still predicated on the idea that all of these women are subservient to you and what you desire. I don't know. See, okay, we're gonna we're gonna come back to this topic. And we're gonna make David play the game sometime. We're well, gonna, and and that's why I'm saying I, that's why I'm saying yeah. games like that are that way. You know, this is part one. This is part one of a of a, of a series here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know when it's gonna be, but we're gonna come back in a while. He's not gonna be at the moment. David's gonna play half an hour of this game, and then we're gonna. Well, and then we'll I think there's a lot it. to talk about here, but it's just sort of hard when I've played it and David hasn't. Well, exactly, and so that's why I'm saying I can't make a, a statement about the game itself, but from games I have watched and I've seen online and I've heard about, that is very much how it is. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna drop the whole thing for now. We're gonna, okay. we're gonna put a sticky note on it. We're gonna come back to it. Wow, what a what an episode! <laughs> to... Very in engaging, right? This is supposed to be oh shoot, it's supposed to be family friendly. I mean, I, we're not okay. That's the oh my god, that's the other thing. It's like. We didn't, like, curse, or I don't think say anything too uncouth, but at the same time, it's like, <laughs> to talk about these things, because society would be like, just, you know, just saying sex or porn is... Is bad. And that shouldn't be the case. These are things you should be able to talk about with your kids. Can I go? Oh, I can. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, um, I didn't know if we wanted to stop, or... Nah, let's just keep going for a little bit. Uh, these are things you should be able... Oh, it's like a disco level. Or it's... Oh, it's a mining shed. What the heck? Stop. What the heck's going on here? They come to life when it's green? Yep. I mean, these are things you should be able to talk about with kids, and then maybe, you know, if we started it a little bit earlier, we wouldn't have such large taboos about these sort of things, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, exactly. And th and that's why it's hard to decide what's right and what's wrong about it. Cause well, we're not even trying to decide. We're just trying to talk about it. We're never... You're not going to see me and David making the judgmental rulings on what's okay. This is just, you know, what we think. Yeah. Oh, did you not like that? No, no, sorry, I was just focused on getting this. Okay, I thought you might get mad because I said something you think might not be law. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these, these are fun. That's what you get when you do it. I forgot about these. These are so much fun. Whee! Wait, what do you even get for doing this, though? I think you get lives. You gotta go back now. Oh, yeah, 100 seconds is a long time. We can, we can stop it after this minigame. Yeah. 
Well, I forget, I forget what exactly happens. I remember it's Espresso the Ostrich is his name. Why don't you just go to the other parts? I could. That would be a good idea. Wee. So now we're not going to talk about anything <laughs> we're sexual not... in nature no. until we, until we, until David play, and then we'll do one more episode of it, and then we go. Well, it's kind of hard, you know. I, I want to be able to talk about more adult things, but I don't want to sound stupid. Yeah. You know, it's hard. I mean, we're watching a more adult-oriented TV show now, and we'll probably watch more in the future, so yeah. we'll get chances yeah. to talk about yeah. it. It's hard to bring up, you know, sexuality when you're watching Avatar: The Last yeah. Airbender. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah. Uh, ask your parents before you watch this episode. <laughs> we're going to take a break. We'll see you in a little bit.